Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to create this awesome slide on PowerPoint. Alright, let's get started. First I'll go to Insert, then go to Word Art, then I'll pick this box and I'll have a text box. Then I'll type something like this. Speak when your words are better than silence and I'll make the entire slide on this sentence. So first I'll click on this, press Ctrl A to select it all, then I'll go to Home and decrease the font size a bit like this. Then, then I'll separate it to three separate box. So I'll press on this and when I have this icon, I'll press Ctrl D to duplicate it twice, maybe thrice, so that I can show you perfectly what I'm doing. Now I need to divide it into three parts. Speak when your words are better than silence. So better than silence must be a separate sentence. Then speak when your I guess this would be better and we are left with other two words are better than silence so we have three parts speak when your words are better than silence or maybe I'll put the video over here so we have three parts speak when your words are better than silence and we're gonna make the slide out of it so first what I will do is just increase the fonts a bit like that and choose a font which might be Avant G Bold, which is a free font which you can download it from the internet for free. So I'm gonna be using Avant G Bold. Then I will go to Insert, go to Shapes, and pick this rectangle over here and drag it like that. Just like that. Done. Then I'll squeeze it a bit and then go to Format, Align, and Align it to Center and Align it to Middle. So I'll do them both. Then right click on it, send it to back. Then I'll change the font, maybe file size to this and I'll get rid of the shape outlines by clicking on no outline, just like this. Alright, done. Now I'll click on control, holding on control, I'll click on this and this and then go to home and click on this S to get rid of the shadows and make the font colors this color, done. So smooth, everything is going just fine. Alright. So we are fitting it together, done. For the next part, I'll show you how to create a 3D effect by going 2D. So I'll go to shapes and I'll pick something that has a tail. So I'll pick, first I will pick a triangle like this and drag it like that and put it right over here. And like that done for the next part I'll go to insert go to shapes and then what I need to do is to create a specific kind of shape I'll select this then I'll have something like that so insert go to shapes and pick a rectangle and put it right on top of it like that then drag over all of these two and merge them together. So I'll have something like this. You can create it in many different ways. So I'm going to be doing this this way. So I'll click on these two to make it the same format as the previous rectangle and minimize it like that and make it the same white as like that and then I'll put it in the back. Now what you can do with this little triangle over here is make it the same color then click on it Go to shape fill, more fill colors, and make it a bit dark, just like that. And then go to rotate and flip horizontal, then match it with the bottom. As you can see, it has just created a 3D effect on your slide. Group it, or maybe just unleave it, not group it, I'll just hold it in one shift, I'll drag it like that, then group it. Then I'm going to format, rotate it, flip horizontal and put it where it belongs. Right click on it, send it back. There you go. Then I'll click on it, right click on it and ungroup it. Now what I will do is go to Insert Go to Shapes and pick this rectangle over here and drag it just like that. So as you can see, you can see these parts which are very essential. I'm going to change the shape fill to this black color. Then holding down control, I'll click on this, this and this, right click on it, send it to back. 
and click on this and hold it on control click on this this and this again send them to back again so as you can see it has created a 3d effect as it if we're wrapping the thing around but you can see the text so to make the text visible first let me bring them to front then change the color or maybe white or this is fine I'll maybe make it white and I'll increase the size of it speak when and then decrease the size of this part just like that we're almost done then what I will do is create some ornaments so I'll go inside go shapes and pick a diamond shape just like this or like this and put it right over here so it fills in the gap so I'll make this this color and holding on shift control shift I'll just drag it like that and we have some negative spaces over here what we can do is many different things I'll just go to insert go shapes and pick a rectangle drag it like that just like that make it black done then I'll go to insert go to shapes and pick this shape parallelogram drag like that holding down shift I'll rotate it 90 degrees then I'll put it right over here and zoom in a bit just like this minimize it a bit further done then I'll make it the same color as this done then I'll press ctrl D to duplicate it then what I will do is rotate it horizontally and make it a bit deep color just like this part then I'll put it right over here right click on it send it to back and then minimize it a bit and fit it perfectly where it belongs so now you can see it has created a fold effect so I'll click on this to and then holding the control shift I'll just drag them over here then go to format go to rotate flip them vertically then I'll just put it right over here again after putting it right over here I right click on it and send it to back then I'll drag over this whole thing holding down control shift I'll just put it right over here then go to format and rotate it the vertical horizontal or uh, before doing that I'll just group them together then rotate them horizontally just like that and we have our slide deck ready to roll so this is our slide deck speak when your words are better than silence so this was our slide making thanks for watching the entire tutorial hope you liked it if you want me to make any slide for you type it in the comment section so that I can make a tutorial out of it and don't forget to share with your friends and your family people might find it useful and if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe because there will be one new video every Friday I'm Sadhan Sadiq signing out thanks for watching have a great day